SDM tools, upgrade software from local computer, change the drop down to ASA because I'm going to upload operating system, browse local files, now I've already downloaded them from Cisco with a valid SmartNet agreement, under my C drive, and there's my ASA image, select, now make sure there's an entry in the bottom box, if there isn't simply click the browse flash button and select disk zero. set that as the boot image like yes and I preview my commands before I send them your SDM may not be solved this way so just click send and it will tell you that it needs a system reload before it loads the new operating system which is only common sense so now I'm going to do the same thing again upgrade software and I'm going to load in the new SDM image Version 641. Select once again. Make sure there's an entry in the bottom box if there isn't. Click press flash. Upload, and that will pull that into the flash memory on the ASA. Do you want to set this image as the ASDM image? Yes. Again, I'll preview my commands. You may not do that. Send, and it will say that you need to exit and go back into the ASDM before it will run the new one, which is fair enough. Now I'm going to save all my hard work with a file, save running config to flash. And so all this kicks in, I'm going to reboot, or do a reload on the firewall. Leave it on its defaults of reload now and click schedule reload. Yes, I would like to schedule reload. Yes, I would like to send the command. And that's now rebooting in the background. You can simply click exit STM. Now I've got a terminal console open in the background just so I can see what's going on. You can simply just watch the front of the asser until the lights come back on again. OK, now I can see that it's all back up and running again. I can connect back to my SDM. Yeah. And when it fires up, we can see we're using the versions that I've uploaded, A41 and ASDM641. That's your fully upgraded. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.peatnetlife.com.